And Israel is only continuing their ground offensive into Gaza. Israeli forces say an attack which destroyed a refugee camp also killed a senior Hamas commander. The UN calls the situation there in Gaza a public health catastrophe. Well, back here at home, Congress is still grappling with passing an aid package for Israel and also possibly Ukraine as well. NBC's Chris Ballone has more. Israel says an attack on a refugee camp near Gaza City killed a senior Hamas commander, one of the leaders of the October 7th massacre of more than a thousand Israelis. A nearby Hamas-run hospital said dozens were killed and hundreds injured. NBC News cannot independently confirm those figures. This is another way. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told a Senate committee the humanitarian situation in Gaza is becoming increasingly dire. First, let's be clear that uh, the needs are desperate. Uh, the needs for the most basic things, food, water, medicine, fuel, uh, all of these are literally a matter of life and death. Hospitals in Gaza are barely functioning. This has been a, a massacre that's been unfolding, and now we're getting to the final chapter of this massacre where even the wounded will not be spared. The world needs to intervene now. It, it, it is. In, On Capitol Hill, two Biden cabinet secretaries urged the Senate to pass a new foreign aid package to help two pivotal allies defend themselves. In both Israel and Ukraine, democracies are fighting ruthless foes who are out to annihilate them. Congressional Republicans divided on whether to continue supporting Ukraine in its fight against Russia. The new House Speaker Mike Johnson supports a bill with aid for Israel only. To separate the package is, is naive because the threats are in, have commonality. The FBI director warning Hamas's actions could inspire terror attacks against Americans. This is not a time for panic, but it is a time for vigilance. Christopher Wray telling a Senate committee the U.S. hasn't seen such a threat since the rise of ISIS years ago.